It's Corey and Denise from Does Size Matter. We've got another RV review for you today. We are at the Paladino RV and Recreation Center in Sudbury, Ontario. I know, we're all the way over here, but that's because we get around, you know, we're RV sometimers. We're gonna show you the Grand Design Reflection 297 RSTS. Now this is a bumper pull, so we thought that was interesting. And we're gonna take a look and show you everything about it. Now remember, all that we're telling you is from our research and everything that we've learned. You can take that and do with it what you choose. Uh, but also don't forget, at the end, we'll put up the construction video so you can click on that, learn a little bit more. And of course, one of our adventures because we like to bring you along on those too. So let's start at the front. On the front of this trailer, you get this nice fiberglass cap with its lighting. I really do like that on this trailer it looks good um, what i'm not loving is there's a bit of a rougher section here that would protect the front of the fiberglass but nothing here and you know this is going to be the spot that gets dinged in so i wish they would have carried that over or put some protection on that there uh, looks like you're going to get two 30 pound propane tanks and an electric jack you know gone are the days of crank 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 <laughs> let's go around to this side and see what else You've got the uh, solar hookup, you've got the storage, and that's got a magnetic door that I love. You can see it goes right through, um, but it does have the step here, which allows for some tools and things like that. And then you've got your classic grand design um, utility bay here with your uh, outdoor shower, how to configure things, valves and things to manage your tanks. Here is your gray tank pull. So where's the black tank pull? I'll have to find that for you. Anyways, you can also uh, hook up your water here and you can put all of the hoses down through there when you shut the door. So moving down, I just want to take a look here. This is your electric uh, stabilizer jacks. So these are stabilizer jacks, not actually jacking up the trailer jacks. And you've got also a spot here to put your sewer hose. So coming back to here, this is where you're hooking up your sewer hose. And I'm noticing that there's two um, valve pulls here. So I think what you've got is two gray tanks and one black tank. And uh, yeah, that's how they're labeled here. The other thing I wanted to show you is that there's actually an LED light right there so that if it's dark and you're trying to hook that up, you can see everything you're doing. That is an awesome feature of convenience, right? You get a 50 amp electric hookup and here is one of the two opposing rack and pinion electric slides. And uh, I'm also wanting to show you that we've got uh, slider windows in this trailer, which we all know are my fave. And then come on back. We've got more of the electric stabilizer jacks and clearly someone backing up. <laughs> Let's look way up at the top. Uh, no slide awnings. I think that's an important thing. Get it. It just protects you. Okay, let's see what's back here. Um, okay, you get your ladder to go to your fully walkable roof. You get your uh, backup camera. Now remember when we're talking about backup cameras, it's just ready, it's there. You still have to buy the piece that hooks in your truck and does all that. Also up there, you can see the spout that will drain water away from the side of your trailer. You also get a hitch. Now I'm not sure exactly what that's weighted for, but really um, it's not like you're pulling a car back here. This is gonna be like where you hook up your bike rack or something like that, okay? Come along. We get another uh, electric rack and pinion slide here. And in it is a few features. So for those of you who like to have an outdoor TV, you know, you can set up your chairs and stuff, you get that. And um, 
some storage in there too so that's kind of cool and then this just comes down and locks and it, I guess that's another important thing it does have a lock on it to keep your stuff secure when that's down and then you get a scrunch through remember we're out of RV lot things are tight but over here is a small but adequate little refrigerator so you can put drinks and things in there and a pull out two burner propane stove so you can cook outside too not something that's really important to us so i would have to ask you when you're looking at this if this is an important feature to you awesome but i would have to say do you want some storage or do you want all of this outdoor stuff or do you want the inside space now that further one with the tv doesn't take up much inside space but this is going to take up some space and we'll check it out when we go in we've got the aluminum uh, fold up steps so they're you know this kind of thing they're a bit heavier a bit more cumbersome and i don't think quite as steady as those other ones but they're great steps way better than the old style ones um awning so there's a big awning that stretches all the way down to the other side of this slide and i would assume that it has the led lighting in it because they all seem to these days and then let's look in this side of the storage which again has a magnetic hookup there's lighting in here and there is still quite a bit of storage and because of the frame we've still got this place where you can put some tools and that kind of thing so like that so i just want to check out this door um oh see that it's a friction door so i like that because there's no need for anything back here to do the hooking up it's just going to stay there or wherever you put it uh, it also has the screen which is nice i like screens because you know again the airflow and light so let's go inside and take a look come on this is different hey like everything's flipped so what do i think about that i guess what it does is it gives you a view if you're out under your awning and stuff and there's a lake or whatever over there you get an outdoor view but if it's all on that side of the trailer you just get it from an indoor view because you've got the standard grand design beautiful windows right so different but it's kind of cool i like things that are different so this is in a slide and it's your kitchen so you start at your kitchen right off the bat you're getting a uh convection microwave quite a big one uh let me see here yeah it's pretty good then you're getting a furion uh stove oh i don't want to lift it because they the dealership has it all tied but it's got three burner propane and there's your nice oven now i i just want to talk about those these blue lights they're kind of cool if that's your thing but you do need to recognize that this kind of stuff is uh sucking power all the time <laughs> so you'd want to make sure you turn that off like any of these kinds of things especially when you're boondocking are sucking power from your system uh, if we go up we've got some storage and you know because it's in a slide they're easy to reach storage i love that I like that you get a window here and this is an incredible amount of countertop space for prep and that kind of thing it does have electric there and you do get a, a big uh, drawer but this is something i wanted to point out this is because you chose to have the outdoor kitchen and that space has to come from somewhere so now this is just blocked there's nothing that you could use there so if you didn't have an outdoor kitchen you would have some fabulous storage here i bet so depends on what you're into you also get uh, more storage there so that's pretty cool and then if we go over to this island i love islands and i love that you're getting them in pull trailers now too so this is a solid surface countertop which is beautiful and i love it it has a one piece stainless undermount sink 
Uh, again, as I've said before, I prefer a double sink, but the fact that you can put these back in and still use a part of the sink and then have countertop makes me happy. You've got a nice high tap and a sprayer, and that's a pretty decent quality tap. And then uh, you get all of this. So you get three decent drawers, you get electrical, and you get a lot of storage under there. So, you know, it all depends what you're into, but I mean, that's great. I like it a lot. And then we move over to the stove. So this is, or really, I know the difference, the fridge. This is gonna be about an eight cubic foot, I believe. And it's a domatic, and it'll be gas and electric. Uh, so I, obviously, I love this. I can reach absolutely everything. I can even see what's in the freezer. No excuses for not using that stuff up, right? So that's great. Uh, then I guess you move into the entertainment area. It's so weird that this is flipped like this, but I like it. So you get lots of storage up here with uh, electric in it. So whatever you need to put up there, you get your... Uh, console for running things there. Pretty decent sized TV if you ask me. And then you get more storage around your electric fireplace, which again, I really love. I think that's a great feature. I wish I had it. Coming around, this will be more storage and there's electric there. On, oh, lighting up there, so that's good. This will be a pull out, yeah. Uh, a pull-out bed, and there's lots of room in here for that. Big windows, and there are sliders here. Let me show you. Oh, okay. So that's the slider. I did see on the outside the tag that says this is a Four Seasons package, and they're talking about the insulation, which is, is true, but... To me, if you want to really insulate something and call it a four season, you need double pane windows. And I'm almost certain that double pane windows are an option. So yeah, if you're getting four seasons, you should be getting double pane windows. I mean, whether it's heat or cold, you need the insulation. So I'm just looking for things like USB. So more electric, but not USB. Then we come to our theater seating in these grand windows. So these are big. I can see, oh, these are comfy. I like these better than the last ones I sat in. Um, I can see the TV just fine. I've got great windows to look out. These will have some heat, probably some vibrate -y thing. Uh, and they're nice, nothing's blocked. Good conversation space. Okay, so over to the dinette. It has four freestanding chairs, um, and I did notice that there's storage underneath the seat, and then your table, um, and I just want to show you over here how they set these up for transit. So they put one on top of the other, and then they've got these um, straps that go through, and they clip in down here to a little thing, and ow! They're really quite sturdy, so that's good. Um, they're comfortable chairs. There's a, a little pull-out drawer there. I mean, big windows. We don't have too blingy of lights or anything here. Um, this is our window, which is one of these. You know, not my fave, but it'll let some air in. And remember that one? I can't remember which one it was. You know, we go in so many, but. I was surprised at how good the circulation actually was in those windows. I had to eat crow there. So I think this is pretty nice. And then we go over to, what is this? Is this your wine bar, your coffee bar? I don't know. I would probably use it for both. But you get quite a bit of uh, storage, which most of it I can reach. I really do like this countertop, two electric, a USB motion sensor lighting, so that's good. And two little, but two drawers there. 
so that's all good. Where do you think the heat ducting is in this area? Because Grand Design does not put it in the floor, so we need to look for it. Oh, here we go. Down underneath the um, island there is where the heat ducting is. And then you get a skylight, you get an air conditioner, which is ducted throughout, LED lighting, and a fan. This is pretty nice space. Very user-friendly and comfortable. So now, let's go check out the uh, bathroom. Uh, I think it's my favorite door. I like pocket doors. They're just out of the way. Um, it has a security thing up there so it's not flopping back and forth and it's just out of the way. The vanity I do like. Smaller sink but that's just fine. Usual taps. Quite a bit of countertop space. Electric. A perfectly sized mirror for me or someone else that might be taller. Who that would be? I don't know. Some storage. There is lighting up there. Where's the light? Oh. Oh, that's for the fan. So that's a good thing. There's a switch for the fan because, like, how would I ever reach that? Um, then down here, you get three drawers and you get some pretty decent storage under there, too. And then we move into the shower unit. So this is not a one piece unit, it's the usual standard plasticky stuff usual taps, shelves, and then it moves down to the base. And that's just not my favorite. I've said that a million times. Um, but it seems like a fairly decent size and a fairly um, sturdy base. The door is pretty decent. I like that. And Corey likes it because it's not clear glass down here. Uh, you get a porcelain toilet with a foot flush, plastic lid. Uh, you get heat venting in here. And you get a rack and you get more storage, which is quite a good size. And mirrored, you get AC and more lighting and your vent. So it's a smaller bathroom, but it's not too small. You can move, you can dry off, you've got plenty of space, so I like it. Let's go. All right, let's go check out the bedroom. So this is a decent sized bedroom. Uh, you do get a residential queen mattress, so that's good for whatever sheets and bedding that you're going to buy. Um, you do get some storage there, closet, and it has a mirror in it. Um, I'm sure you can tell there's something here I don't like, which is that I don't have a night table. But there is a little shelf up here with lighting, USB, and electrical on both sides. Um, you just can imagine if my water was up there, I'd probably knock it down on myself. But it's something. Up here, more storage space, um, which is pretty deep. And if you're standing on the bed, you could get a lot in there. And then over to this side, you have a similar uh, setup in your mirror and closet. But you also get this, which I really like. Oh, 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 you got to get over here. This is a huge closet, but it also has plumbing and venting that you could, not the vent's not there, but you could put in a vent for washer dryer combo unit if that's what you wanted. And as well, there is more storage here with heating and electric down there. And on this wall would be where you would put a TV if you wanted. There's still AC ducting in here and a vent and LED lighting. And let's see what's under this bed. If I can. Oh yeah. Okay, smaller, but there is storage there. And easy to get into. Super easy. I like the windows in here as well. So this is a pretty decent bedroom. 
So we just want to wrap up with you all around the uh, Grand Design Reflection 297 RSTS bumper pull trailer. That's really quite nice. So I want to give you the numbers on that. The uh, UVW 7,895 pounds with a hitch of 795. Uh, the GVW, 9,995 pounds. Hmm. The length is actually 33 foot 11 inches. The height is 11 foot 5 inches. The capacities of the tanks, the fresh water is 60, the gray water is 86, and the black is 43. And it does have 15 inch wheels on it. Uh, the Refrigerator comes standard at a 12 cubic foot, so that's bigger than what I thought. There is a 17.8 gallon per hour quick recovery wa hot water heater and a 15,000 BTU ducted AC and it is um, like ready for a second AC if you so choose to add one. And then you got a 35,000 BTU high capacity furnace. So, I mean, those are all the sort of standard features. There's always more upgrades you can do. Like I said, I would be putting the uh, slide toppers on and getting the double pane windows. So I hope if this is the one you're getting, I mean, this is really cool and I hope you've gotten something out of this video to help you decide. Uh, if you've liked it, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. There'll be a construction video for you to link on to get more information on how the reflection is built. And of course, join us on one of our adventures. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching.